whole of the African continent to come and interact with our young people here to share ideas on intellectual property rights, on the tech industry, on their role in governance. Our young people have told them they cannot sit at home and wait for anybody to come for them and tell them that they are the leaders of tomorrow. Nobody will come from you at home. You must get out and take your rightful place in the development of this country. In public governance, in private enterprise. So I want to tell KEPSA and your leadership, you are our very serious partner. And with this youth agenda you have here, you are our friends. And I want to confirm to you, President William Ruto is ready any day for the Roundtable Conference. Any day. Especially if agenda number one is youth and their employment and business opportunities. Tomorrow, the day after, at night, over the weekend, President William Ruto is ready and available. And I've said many times and many people think I'm joking. The President and I, we have no children we are bringing up. We are not looking for wealth. We are just available to serve 24-7. 24-7. That is why the President has given a policy direction about time management. He has told us anybody who keeps business people waiting will meet his wrath. Yeah, because you are here over 150 people. If we waste your time here 30 minutes, one hour, the loss of the economy is unquantifiable. And we are just one person. So why do you want to keep 200 people waiting? You think you are so important. Who the hell, whom the hell do you think you are? <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, most of you, let's be honest here, had been poisoned against us very much by the previous administration. That we are thieves, that we are corrupt, that uh, we are bringing wheelbarrows to ordinary children when ours are working elsewhere. The wheelbarrow is just a tool of trade, it's a symbol. You know, people who have not studied literature do not know what is a knowledge. They do not know who, the power of figurative language. The wheelbarrow was just a symbol of hard work by ordinary people. So you had been poisoned against us. That will be against industry, will be against enterprise, we will be killing big businesses. We are only thinking about the hustlers and ourselves. The hustler fund. The biggest beneficiary of the hustler fund is the big private sector. When we give 50 billion to the hustlers to trade, they have no factories. Where will they buy the wares? They'll come to you. They'll come to you. That 50 billion, you guys are likely to pick 40 billion out of it. So you should clap for us. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> these guys were despising us because of our background. Because our fathers are not known. Because we didn't go to schools that are anything. But they didn't know that despite that, we have some little brain. And because of continuously engaging